right, we're heading back out on the North Crater Trail tonight. We're gonna go down to some of the old lava flows that are now solidified and capture a few shots from down there. Our national parks are such amazing resources, not only for the landscapes, but also because they protect the night skies. And so many of these national parks are essentially islands. You know, they're out there on their own protecting the night skies far from city lights. So we as humans can go enjoy them and everyone can relate to just that experience of being out under the stars and staring up at the night sky and watching meteors pass or watching the Milky Way. I think that's one of the most <laughs> enjoyable things I like about the national parks is that you can hike out to some awesome locations and just commune with nature, take a few photos, and really soak in some amazing night skies. Craters of the Moon National Monument, which is in Southern Idaho. I was so amazed by the dark skies that they have here. They were certified by the Dark Sky Association in 2017. So they have their dark sky certification. It's just a, it's an, a haven for dark skies and for night sky education here at the park for the astronomy rangers. Hi, so we're just heading down the trail. We're almost down to the lava flow down here where we want to try to shoot the comet back towards the northwest, but another beautiful evening. I love checking out all the basalt here. It's so cool. It's so lightweight. It's just filled with all these little bubbles from the gas when that magma came up to the surface, turned into lava, and then all the gases just expanded, made little bubbles. It's cool. Hi, right, we just got down to the lava flow here. Just gonna kind of roam around a little bit, try to find a vantage point. This is a pretty recent lava flow in terms of geologic history. It's only a couple thousand years old and you could tell just because there's only a few species of plants on it. You don't have any big trees or anything really growing out of this yet. It's so pretty. All right, we're down here at the North Crater Trail, hanging out with some cool basalt, some lava rock. It's still astronomical twilight right now, so it's not fully dark, but the comet is just to the Northwest. We're starting to see it naked eye right now, and we're gonna wait for it to get a little bit more dark and shoot a few photos here. So one of the rigs I have right now is just the Nikon DA50 and then the 14 to 24 millimeter lens. And I have it on L bracket and the L bracket just lets me quickly switch from on this side would be portrait orientation. Right now it's in landscape, so I could quickly take this off and flip it just so the camera is centered back over the tripod. Quick, easy, makes it a lot more simple instead of uh, loosening the ball head to tilt it to the side and that off weights the camera and makes it a little bit uh, unstable. So L brackets really come in handy. All right, well, the comet is up there in the sky, and here is some of the shots that we got so far. Here's just one of them. Turned out pretty cool. Comet is up there. It's amazing. And just the basalt rock. Cool little foreground, I think. All right, we got done with the first hike. We're back down at North Crater Flow Trail doing a little bit of shooting in front of some basalt monoliths. 
We're doing 30 second exposures, F2.8, ISO 8000, really pushing this one. But we have a light that we're gently low level illuminating the rocks just to give it a little bit of foreground illumination. All right, so we just swapped over to the 50 millimeter lens because we wanted to shoot the comet, which is just setting behind some of those basalt cliffs and looks pretty cool with the zoomed in magnification of that lens.